Welcome to the Judgment-Free Zone. You've downloaded the Alcohol-Free Marriage and More podcast with Matt and Amy, recorded live from the cornfields of Central Illinois. Welcome to Episode 78 for March 18th, 2024. Hello there, children. Welcome back to your weekly freak show that is the Alcohol Free Marriage and More podcast that's not so weekly right now. How are you, my love, Coach Amy? I'm really good. <laughs> I, but you're you know, right. I, it didn't I feel, kind of feel bad. And that, It didn't feel like that had been that long until I brought up last show notes to do this one. I'm like, oh, that's been a minute. I've been putting out um, some rewind Rewind. Episodes episodes yeah. that's what you do in the in the media world you know, when you don't have new media it's things a, it's have rerun. been crazy like um do we want to just do a little catch up there on sure, what's been want, going on uh, yeah if you have anything of, or uh, do we want to go oh oh wait well let's do this i'm gonna do you want me to, to read and go by your your outline or do we, you want me to just how about we just ask people to to subscribe to share to like forward that podcast on to your friends family neighbors um who you like, or if you don't like them, then send them that too. <laughs> uh, don't forget to always go to joyontheirside.com. Check out our Beyond Spirits, the seven tips to start your AF journey that helped us start yes. our AF journey. Absolutely helped us. Is That's your, why I want people to get it. Is your PQ coaching stuff on there, Coach Amy, yet? On the On your on website? I uh, No, because no. what are we doing? We're working on a website redesign <laughs> that will have... Positive intelligence. Positive coaching. We'll have alcohol coaching. Marriage coaching. And marriage coaching. So it's going to be yes. a coaching extravaganza. Soon. Yeah. And under my alcohol coaching, I'm actually, um, I am just started a new program program called Choose Freedom. Uh, there is a devotional called The Plans He Has for Me. And it is a three-month devotional. But along with it, the devotional can be a standalone or you can do this program that um, I have found and now have become a certified, well, not certified, licensed coach working on the certification part. And Suzanne, my business partner, and I started the uh, Choose Freedom program with a small group. And um, I guess we're on to week three. It's 12 weeks, right? It's actually, the program is 14 weeks right now. This is our beta program, so we've just started it, and uh, it's a 12-week where you do the challenge, where you don't this drink. Is, this, yeah, I was going to say, this is a, the this is a different again. than the other, yeah. It's a 12-week challenge of no drinking versus your regular program, which, which allows, is, yeah, quote, it's unquote, a, allows for data points. and you Well, know. and in this, I mean, I don't want to say, this is like the next step. Like, say you've done a 30-day alcohol experiment. Maybe you have done our um, alcohol-free spirit six-week program that has the 30-day right. challenge in it as well. The Our program, that six-week program, it's just that beginning point where this is that next step where you're like, okay, I really want to see what living alcohol-free is like. So would you say the 12-week program is not a beginner program or could you uh, no i think and, i think it just depends on where you're at right because right. some people come but, in and are like i am done i don't right. want to do this anymore i really want to i really want to but it's also jump in but it's also good for some people i think who need the discipline of I, I, you know the accountability we've had a conversation about some people who are like well you almost get the vibe that they they really want to quit drinking but they just really want their coach to tell them it's okay to drink the way you do drink. I feel I, that's the kind of vibe I get. Where, yeah, sometimes. You know, and this is like, you're you're in it. You're gonna do it. It's you know you're gonna put a stake in this ground and yeah and move forward. Well, and I think what happens to so many of us, um, especially when you're in that, there's so much cognitive dissonance, and you're sitting there. And you're like, okay, do I want to quit or do I not want to quit? Well, is it really that bad? And you have that battle and taking a 12-week challenge, 84 days in a row, really helps you to like really see what life can be like, really quiet your mind. Right. Um, I don't know if you, I think I think a lot of people have probably seen the, um, the TikTok of Tom Holland where Spider-Man. Yes, I know. And <laughs> I just want to make sure you, yes. you had like of a course. look on your face. I'm like... 
I'm just trying to figure where you're going with Spider-Man. But well, anyway. no, because he took a break. It was either oh, last yeah. year or the year before. And he was like, you know what? My drinking's gotten too much. I'm going to take right. a break. And then he did. And he he was kind of like, wow, you know, maybe I need to just see. Like, I'm, I'm even during the break, I think he was still like really on right. that obsession with it. And he was like, I'm just going to see if I can get to my birthday. And his birthday right. was in June. And then he was like, wow, you know, this is great. Why, right. you know, this is, this. so this is what that, the Choose Freedom program is like. Right, right. So that's, that's one thing. That all like really came up fast and it's really exciting. Hopefully we will have um, uh, Roseanne Forte on the show soon to kind of talk about it since um, she actually um, started her alcohol-free journey at, right around the same time that I did. It was a popular time, kids. It, yeah. It, well, it was the beginning of COVID. That's true. The pandemic. And so people were either diving in deeper or they were like, oh, well, what are we going to do? Right. How am I, so am I going to get healthy? What am I going to, how am I going to improve myself? So this is your first round of the 12 weeks, but you'll probably do it again. Yes. Right. But yeah. somewhere in there, you're going to work in your alcohol free spirit still, right? Yes. Okay. But so, we're this- just, so if you're interested in the alcohol free spirit, you know, let me know. We can get you on the waiting list for that. Amy at jointheirside.com. She Thank you, up. Matt. And then um, and then the positive intelligence. I'm, <laughs> there's just so many, so I many know. balls in the air. I'm juggling. How do you want to be coached? Yeah. Well, really. Yeah. I mean, I think that's kind of what. A lot is. of it goes hand in hand. We've talked to a lot of people who the alcohol plays into the marriage coaching part. Marriage coaching plays in the alcohol. I think your positive intelligence kind of bridges between both of those. Yeah. So they, they all play together and it's the, it kind of provides us a toolbox or more to the point you, a toolbox of, of, you know, the right coaching. And, and then that allows you, especially in you know, the alcohol coaching to pull, draw from those other things to kind of provide a more well-rounded versus just looking at the alcohol. Yeah. And I would say that since we're doing this right now, I'm going to put this out into the universe. Yes. Putting this out to our listeners. I'm going to get Matt signed up to go through the PQ program. Don't There's, worry. She keeps saying this, folks. I know. So I'm well. putting it out here. We're going to get you signed up and we're going to get you started so that we can do some updates updates along the way in this as well. So maybe we need to write that down so that I won't forget. Yeah, you write that down so you won't I'm gonna forget. I'm going to put in here. While you write that down, I want to give a shout out to Pastor Sean, our pastor at our church who checks in with us every week and has been checking the last three weeks. You guys get that podcast done? We're like, <laughs> no, this week. And then do you get note? So we will send him an email. We got it do done, we, Do we do podcast dedications now? Yeah. <laughs> this one's going out to Sean at Vail. There you go. <laughs> sure. Uh, and anyway, happy St. Patrick's Day. This is St. Patrick's Day when we're recording. It definitely will not be St. Patrick's Day probably when you're listening to it. Uh, Amy did put on some green. I don't have a lot of green. I think it's the red hair. Does I never... I had a shirt like that, but I lost it. Yes, it's my Lucky Charms. Um, yes. But and it's so old, Lucky is fading off. He is. <laughs> if you were in the Leprechaun, uh, if you're in New York City uh, this weekend, you could have attended the 13th annual Sober St. Patrick's Day that they've been that doing. That is so cool. I think we talked about it a year or two we ago. We probably yeah. did, and we probably should go. That would be really cool. That would be a lot of fun. We should probably go to a lot of places, but we haven't. But in the meantime, let's sure. talk about our drink of the week. Amy, you want to go first? Which um, are green-themed yes. cans. So. It's green-themed. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar. I'm not like a big soda drinker anymore. I gave up soda a long time ago. Part of all the sugar. It's a treat. Right. Um, but one of my clients, I think, or I did we... We stumbled upon it. I think it was about the same time. Sure. Um, what is it? Olipop That's or Olipop? I think it's Olipop. Okay. I don't know. Olipop, Olipop. Um, lemon lime. It's a new kind of soda. It has prebiotics, botanicals, and plant fiber. But only four grams of sugar versus a can of pop, which has like what, 25, oh, gosh. 30 grams? Four grams of sugar. And then it, um, so 50, 50 calories. But it, it is a great treat. I really, this is really good. The lemon lime's good. The grape is oh, amazing. Do you like the, the grape. grape crush? It is amazing without all the sugar. I need to try the cream soda because I like cream soda. You're not a cream soda fan. No. They have a they have like a cola, which is it's eh, okay. It's okay. It's not bad, but it's I not love as good as this. The grape. I wonder, have we tried the orange? No, I just hope it's not disappointing the other orange I tried. 
I know. So what's yours, Matt? Mine, I, I don't like to do this to our listeners, Amy, because I like to share things that you can go out and buy yourself and try yourself, which you can, or more to the point, you could, except now it's sold out, is Go Brewings. And if you want to get a $5 discount on your first order from Go Brewing, check out the link in our uh, show notes. This is their Bad Arse Irish Red, which I'll, if you're watching the video, you can see the can I'll put up. It is a really cool label. Um, an and amazing it's beer. A, it's a great leprechaun. And it's it looks like me if I could grow hair and got really angry. And um, but it is sadly sold out. So how much but, left of that do we have? Uh, five now. Oh, I think I'll be having one of these this evening. <laughs> <laughs> it is really good, but I don't I don't like to do that because I want you guys to be able to go out mm. and and, and um, get it for yourself. But that is the, a drink. Of, and then the is always good. So other thing that I'm doing. Right along with this 12-week challenge that I'm taking my group with, I started a 12-week challenge. Amy loves challenges. I love challenges. That's why she married me. But. I'm doing the transformation for life, which is... Um, well, you have... A, she, Shelly, she was wanting to look Shelly, for alcohol, address alcohol. You wanted to address weight, yeah. so you kind of said, Yes, hey. and Shelly is um, my coach. And, and you're her coach. I'm her coach, and this is... I'm really excited about this. Why have we had her on? We should. <laughs> I love the pause. Uh, we we should. really should. We will. We will have her on. Write that down. And too. Um, yeah, so. But you're doing. But part of that is your sugars and the proteins and the macros and all of it. All of that. And so I did before and before pictures. I back fat. Oh my gosh. I, I blame the sports bra for some of the back fat. I don't think unless you're like. Anyways, I, I don't, don't care. So I'm not going to show you those pictures. <laughs> um, they might come out later after, after if I have like a, a great after. And I'm doing all the mindset work around this. And I've had the irritability from cutting carbs back. And no, I'm not cutting all carbs back, but empty carbs I'm cutting back. Your popcorn. Um, but my, my popcorn that I literally, I think really I was probably binging it. <laughs> it's probably good for us as a couple though because... The ice cream shop opened again for the season, and we had a probably two or three time a week habit at some points. Yes. So let me we, let me say here, everything is permissible, but not beneficial. True. So what we have to do is you have to plan those things in. This week was difficult because Maggie was home, and she decided to make, and they're not bad. She makes these awesome vegan chocolate chip cookies as far as cookies go they're probably fairly healthy-ish yeah i know but um so anyways i'm as a cookie goes as a cookie goes and it would be fine but i you but won't just i'm have, i'm I all really bad with this like if it's in the house i seek it out it's all the same triggers of alcohol it but is it, it's absolutely same, yeah. um and I would say that, you know, cutting out sugar and processed foods for me has been so much harder than alcohol. Well, because it's in everything. You don't have it's to everywhere. drink alcohol. You have to eat food. But like, food you know, I figure. can avoid going to the liquor department. Not that I do because I go and buy AF stuff all the time. Right. But but I have to really get a mental picture around processed foods. And I, on certain processed foods, I do. But, you know, I have that. I'm like, okay, yeah, this causes cancer. Right. I mean... It does, and but then there's certain things like it's like cookies. I'm like, oh, this one, especially when it's made, you know, relatively healthy, and she's doing all of her. I'm like, oh my god, that's all homemade. So I'm and I don't even sure. know, does that have maple syrup instead of sugar? I I cannot don't. remember, but anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm I'm in this process. Friday was a bad day for me. I was um, really tired, really irritable. But you tried the Chick Fil A recipe thing. That was a big oh TikTok. Gosh. The big TikTok recipe right now from Chick Fil A is a kale side salad, and then Maggie did five. You did twelve grilled chicken nuggets, and then they're spicy. And then the spicy buffalo sauce yeah. on the top, and it really was good. But I think Amy, your this challenge point points to one thing that happens over time once you quit of you feel better and you have more time and you start thinking of your health a little differently because you're not drinking and that's where like we started working out yes and then that becomes okay now we're doing that what's the next thing you can like so it, it's not like you you want to wake up one day and go i'm gonna because this is a recipe for a train wreck i'm gonna quit drinking i'm gonna start exercising and eat well yeah, no i would never recommend that and i know that i, I always have... say pick a pick a challenge and stick to that and one. i know i know people who have done that like yeah. i i know 
other coaches who like they said, you know what, this is it. I am getting healthy. They no sugar, no alcohol, no smoking. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And totally if you can, cool. did it. And I'm looking at them going, oh, wow. I yes. think I think the bulk of society probably ben- it works better of all right, I'm, I I manage this challenge yes, and you don't I, have to worry about the rest and then you address the like cuz we quit drink I quit drinking and then I got a really bad sugar habit. I finally got that under control. And what's funny is you your sugar habit I had really kind of gotten over mine and had worked through that and then you uh, yeah. You started gearing back up, and I started to gear up with you in that. Don't keep ice cream in the house, kids. But I will say, no matter what, um, I have not. My initial, what, I think 12, 14 pounds that I lost when I quit drinking, that has never come back. This has been that the last, last, like, 10, 15 pounds that... Like, you know, like I've gone up and down like, okay, well, I'll watch it. And then it goes down about five pounds and then those five pounds come back up and then they go back down. And then so this is it's a it's a like not drinking, like working on your marriage or whatever it happens to be. It's a lifestyle, right? Yes. You got to you can't think of it of I'm going to do this for a while and then I'll be fine. No. Well, no, it's an ongoing like I quit drinking. I can't start drinking tomorrow and think I'm not a drink. You know, it's. No, and, 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 and again, this is going to be, you can't go back to the donuts, you know, I know donuts not a great example, but, but but. but it's also like, you know, you, you sit there and you're like, okay, well this gives me pleasure, but it also can give me, um, well, well, I'm talking, well, alcohol. Yeah. And sugar too. But when you sit there and you're like, okay, I want this. I'm like, well, yeah, you know, diabetes runs in my family. I already had gestational diabetes. So I know that. I could a higher risk. I'm at a much higher risk right. to have that. And I'm like, you know, and then I showed you that scan oh. of like what your the muscles look like. Cross section of a leg. Cross section of a leg. She's working out or doesn't. Yeah. Versus somebody who's been sedentary and literally your muscles just deteriorate. And really, even if you're a thin person, they deteriorate and you get this very weak muscle and you don't have the structure to hold your bones up. Um, but, like, so. but like I said yesterday, the down, downside to going to the gym is you do it to stay ambulatory and stay strong and be able to move. But sometimes the moves you do at the gym make you not able to move. <laughs> well, yeah. It's like, I'm sore. I can't move. And I would say that even on Friday, like that was the first time I've had like sore lower back pain where I actually It was that stupid something. dip thing, I think, because I'm stiff. I don't know. Too. I'm or feeling it could good. Be that I, way, I don't know. You know what? I woke up yesterday and that was gone. I think it's all just a combination of, again, your body, my body is regulating. Right. And the other thing is, too, is like I want to see the results. I mean, I know I'm getting stronger since we started working out last June. June. I want to be able to see those results. And then, yeah. Yep. And diet is part. Like you've always said, you can't exercise away a bad diet. No, you cannot. So anyways, so, so that's oh, what's been going on. And so go, going back to our, uh, you know, marriage coaching is one of yes. our one of our triads here. Um, um, we have a new guide for you all it's our weekly marriage meeting guide uh, which comes from our marriage coaching training uh, it will be available yes. in the description down below to click a link i would give you a url but we haven't built it as of this moment so we will build that yes. link before we put the show out and make a link for you to download but we want to go through it with you yes and it's our weekly marriage guide and it is also it's brought to you <laughs> by mark and jill savage um they are our marriage coaches um and they have been, so we've been going through we've this, through, yeah. this training with them and they're like, yeah, you know what? Use it. So we want to share this with you. This is the guide that we use. And, um, and this is one of, and I'm not, sometimes I, I have a hard time getting into some of the, you should, you know, you should do this all the time. I do this and I keep, you know, to kind of keep your relationship going. These weekly marriage meetings, I really like for us. I think, I think it's important at any stage of a marriage. Um, we've always but, kind of done like little, but I would call them, I wouldn't call them marriage meetings. What we no. had, we, we, we had a marriage, like, okay, a huddle. Like we were but like, all well, right, when the kids are little, here's 15 kids... minutes after work and we're going to get together. And yes. So we've had some like 
connective we've, we've done yeah, yeah we've done that type of work but we've never like even when the kids had gotten into junior high high school and they had right. m- a lot more activities it was more of okay i'm gonna go do this you're gonna do this and so we weren't connecting right through it and what i like about this is it brings in a lot of the other facets of the overall uh coaching program that mm-hmm. we work through with people but it's it's all in one meeting you do it every week it probably takes us Maybe uh, 45 minutes? I don't even know if it takes... Maybe 30? Maybe, maybe 30. I think it really... It, it depends. Yeah. And I maybe when... And if you needed this to be more abbreviated, um, you can. Because right. we have done quick... Yeah. Well, right, done you know, quick let's one, just get through right? this. But, yeah. but um, I think we, if you actually plan this, I would say overall it could take 30 minutes. Depends on what you do after your meeting. You know? <laughs> How much time you need to allow for it. We'll get to that in a minute. But... Um, one of my favorite, and this is probably, this is actually step like five or six, but one of my favorite things about this is the calendar part because it takes time that you sit down and you just talk through like who has what going on. We actually, now we don't even have kids, but we have the refrigerator calendar. This has like high level, like mainly things that are happening that are like, I'm not going to be home that day. Or we have these things in the evenings and the main things. And I think the thing that's funny is it's because we're managing, like we both have a lot going on now. I mean, right. and it's more so with the kids. It, it used to be, it was all about like what was going on with them. Well, right. The things we'd write down if we had the kids, it'd be like, band it was more shuttling soccer, them yeah. down. Like that was, you know, what we were doing. It's like, okay, you come home and, right. and that, but this is now um, encompassing the things that we're doing in our 2.0 life. Right. <laughs> so the first thing you do, and there's actually a sample script included in the download. Um, you, you, you share one thing I appreciate about you. Yes. It's not just like, I appreciate that you're nice. And that's it. Like the script helps you walk through and about why and you kind of yes, get into it. And I know it feels cheesy to do this. But we still laugh when we do it. It's like, okay. Nope. But it does make you think. And listen. And listen. That's and it makes you think and go, oh, because over time, and even you and I have noticed that over time, we're starting to just remember some right. of the things. And it's just being in that connection with each other. Because you're know, supposed to asking. listen to what they're saying and then repeat back. So you actually do active have to active listen active because you listening. have to repeat back. And then also asking, is there more that you want to yeah. share? Yeah. I mean, the other night in our training, one of the guys, they were, he was sharing. It was something that he was sharing that was just so, he was excited about. Right, right. And it really got emotional. Like it, it really went back and it's something where you're going to, as you're going through that conversation, you can go back and think about like in your childhood, right? you know, things that either were good or bad and it's how you're reacting to current things yeah. and your, and your something I appreciate about you because that's an action I saw in my youth or it's one I didn't see in my youth. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, then the next one is something that is weighing heavy on me right now. So that could, you know, it can be something as simple as like, I remember what I had today, like, oh, I have like just a lot of projects, right? So it's not this week. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like super well, deep, like, you know, the death of a, you know, a family member, but you know. But you even said you brought up, um, because Maggie's doing, she's doing a couple travel. of, she's doing a couple of adventures. Yeah. Um, first time by herself. Right. And it is nerve wracking. Yeah. You but, have to let them grow, but yeah. You know, it's, she can do this. Right. She's, she's capable. She's going to be in great hands because she's going to be going and seeing her brother for right, one of them. Right. And then one of her buddies from school, um, they're going to go and do a 30 minute drive. Yeah. Home. But yeah. it's it's a big deal when right. you're the first time, time. That, especially up in the Chicagoland area. Right. So say a prayer. Yep. <laughs> well, and that's funny because when the person is sharing, you know, what weighs heavy on them, you respond with curiosity, empathy, validation or prayer. Yeah. So exactly. again, it, it, that one doesn't have a script, but it's just a cue to. Um, yeah. The next thing is then you share something that you're excited about. During which is where week. it gets e- it Actually, I always go to like when we get to that one. It's like, okay, now it gets a little easier because yeah. you don't have to. What are you excited it. about this week? What Or just in yeah. general, what's what's lighting you up yep. this week? Yep. Um, then the next step is that you're going to look through the calendar as we've kind of touched out. And you can look at it, the calendar for this month. Maybe it's going forward in a few months. Um, you also can talk about your finances, anything coming up, I mean, <laughs> i.e. we would really like to get a trundle bed in our the podcast, podcast studio. studio. Anybody wants a crappy 
you futon, give me a call. You can have yeah. it. Yeah. Um, anyways, that's another story. Um, and <laughs> but then... I, I do I do love the calendar part. Like you don't even really use the refrigerator one, but it helps me. Well, I think it just helps to get it. Not true. Well, you I said you did. You said look at did it. You? Yes, last week because. I have a really hard time with calendars. You do. You have a lot of calendars. I have always had a hard time with calendars. Which is why um, we went analog and not digital. It's yes. Like, you know what? And we'll so I was write writing down. everything down, but then I got this because I'm doing this um, transformation for life thing that I'm going through. She has a calendar. <laughs> and See. so then I'm like, oh, I'll try this other yeah. one. <laughs> and so this week I did get things done. Don't get me wrong, right. but I was on a daily, but that overhaul, that overall weekly calendar where I right. can look at everything. I hadn't, I wasn't using this week. And so I did go and look at yours to go, See? okay, yeah, this is where I, so yes, it is helpful. Th- there so you go. And I it's like right it. there where we walk by. Yeah. So that's easy. And then the next one is plan for a daily connection. Uh, what, what the question is, what is our daily plan for connection this week? So for us, we talk about like going for a walk or going the to the, we use we the, the Y, we go to the gym. That, you know what? That is a date. Although this week we're having Crystal from Crystal, Crystal, what is it? Crystal clear? Crystal clean. Crystal clean clear. clear so she said so the organized professional oh, organized. organized thank you she was on our podcast you i was really I was. trying to help you thank with you. that but you you were not picking up on anything and we can you know, we can link do a link to the bio in her pod, that podcast yeah. she's going to help us podcast organize our uh, train wreck yes back and we're home. so we're going to be doing some special and think will that be like a vlog that i'm going to record doing? that either for her to use or if nothing else for us to use we'll be using some of it yeah, yeah. um you know we're going to be showing you so a train wreck that is the back room. But you know what? We all there's all everyone has a back room with You know what? Life. Again. It's like a junk you, drawer. It's it's like it's like for many of us like drinking. We think that we're all alone in right. this. Right. And we're not. We have a lot of stuff. And I don't mind I know people have crap. It's like it's, we like, have a lot of stuff and you have a lot of stuff from your kids. You have a lot like Luke stuff. I feel like we're in really we've got a good a right. good um when he moved out, he yeah. came in. He did some clearing out. He took some stuff. We do have some of his things yet. Right. But we've got some stuff that we have to go through. And I think this is going to be just the start of kind of getting rid of some things, getting some stuff organized. And it's going to be nice because she's going to be there. She's going to be like our marriage coach. She's going to be the coach who is going to give us permission to to let go of some stuff. And be a tiebreaker. Like, do you really? It's like, okay. Exactly. Versus, so, versus you know, it being us, me versus. Yeah. It's me you and me you. will be like, eh. Yeah. Let's not deal with this right now. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to go for a walk? Just close the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on on our, uh, our marriage uh, meeting, we have, what is our plan for love making this week? You could just said special fun time. It literally says, what's our plan for love making this week? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, and it kind of goes back to with your calendar, you know, you can plan it and you know if you have kids or even if you don't like it put it on the calendar we have been doing that for a long it time. goes by the wayside if you don't pay attention to since, the children. since the kids were little it's been yeah. you know it's not always been a it has not always been a consistent thing right but i would say overall it has been a really um it's been something that we have tried to be right. very purposeful right. which we all should right and, and putting it in your weekly marriage brings up the topic so you talk about it versus assuming it'll happen tomorrow which tomorrow becomes next week becomes the next month amy what's the next one uh, it says is there any uh, anything we need to do to make our upcoming date night successful which is a twofold one is do you have a date do, night? You, do you have a date night right and this week no i and so i'm looking at our date nights as us you know, our workout nights, yep. you know, that's a date night because um, you, you have it's it's interesting. The our extra stuff comes up for both of us now in the evenings because it's both of our our, I guess, jobs. Right. You know, so we have to kind of. I don't know, maybe we'll do a coffee date this week. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, that could be. That's the other thing. When you look at the calendar, then you can figure out like we I forget like Thursday doesn't have a lot going on. It's so like, oh, let's put something on and thursday we could do that just thinking about it we could do before your um big thing that you've got this next saturday maybe we do that as a uh a little date before we go down and i'll probably end up helping you with what is it like the, the easter egg easter egg hunt, hunt. assuming the weather's good yeah 
So fingers crossed yeah, for all of those last, little kids. Last, last year, it was it too bad. It was too bad to fly a drone. Yeah, but, yeah, absolutely. So, and then optional, the one, the last one of the last things is pick a curiosity question from the list that we also have. Which oh is, my uh, gosh, and I absolutely love the curiosity questions, um, and it's just really to get you to ask each other questions. Yeah, you know? it's it's they're all and they're all over. And you, you, again, it's optional and you can just pick one and you can both answer the same one. Yeah. And they, and it goes from everything from favorite memories of, you know, childhood to, you know, how does your father make you feel, your mother? Um, how do I make you feel? Um, is there something in the last 24 hours that I could have done better? Probably. Um, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, one thing from your bucket list that you'd yeah. like to do. So it's just to... Um, what do you call it? Um, Just really connect. Connect mm-hmm. and to bring up things that we haven't thought about. And I want to say that doing, and then the last step, I guess I'll just to wrap this up, is you can hold hands and pray together, hug each other. I mean, that's the big thing that I have noticed in our relationship, especially when the kids, you know, even having Maggie home this week, which was great. Um, we don't hug enough during the week. And hugging is good for you. <laughs> <laughs> it releases such all those positive endorphins in your your body. Yep. And so we need that, but we also need that that physical touch and um it just really helps that, that, us. As Amy would say the non-physical touch. <laughs> <laughs> Long story, but anyway. Um so it is one of those where you can really just connect. I, yep. I feel like this has made us more intimate just in, you know, a personal not right. on a physical level, but just personally, right. we are connecting so much deeper. And I think, you know, going back to the the alcohol side of it, you know, if you're if you or your spouse are starting that alcohol journey, these are great touch points to have like, you know, to stop and have a real conversation, you know, especially like, you know, I need help with or if you do this, you know, you could help me here or what you know, whatever it may be. So, you know, they're good in general, but you, if you're starting a new pro well, yeah, or exercise, it's like, hey, you know, you know, maybe we could focus on meals. You could even do meal planning in here yeah. too, if, you know, if you're in your calendar. And I guess I, I'm going to go back to the, um, to the appreciation where the, there's the script and where you're going through. One of the things is is when you're having the conversation, it is not. It's it's about the person who is talking and sharing their feeling. And you, as the receiver of it, just need to listen right. and repeat it back and not sit there and take anything personally because that's not that's not the purpose of this. The purpose is for you to learn something and to support your spouse. And then you can go and talk. And there are other scripts as well. We're right. not including that right. in this, but there are other scripts that will help you as well, you know, like, you know, to have... T- have other talking points right, like right. i'm feeling you know other feelings that you're having right because um, this one is specifically about you know something i appreciate but there's yes. one about just a, you know there's something i'm feeling that can be good bad yeah. challenging whatever absolutely so yeah. so yeah so there's that's the marriage the weekly marriage meeting guide so we will be getting this made available we'll, to you we'll link it down below as soon as we know what that link is <laughs> We are going to do that for you, but yeah. All right, kids. Well, there you go. A little bit of alcohol news, a little bit of marriage news. And yes, and upcoming, we've got, we do actually have um, some upcoming interviews coming. Yes. Rob up. from Generation NA. Yes. That's... And I think Maureen, I'm trying to get her rescheduled. We had to reschedule her for this week because the kids were both home. Yeah. So, um, you know, it, those things happen, but. There you go. That's um, all right. That's all right. You know, this is... Life before podcast is what I said. Well, it's also... This is our hobby. Right. This is one of the times this that we're meeting. This is one of our connecting times. Connecting times. Start a podcast. So. There you go, kids. That's Why not? Why not? Everybody's Everybody. got one, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We've got two, so there you go. All right, kids. Well, that's it for us for this week. We want to thank you for tuning in to the Alcohol Free Marriage and more, as you heard, podcast. I'm Matt, along with the lovely coach Amy, wishing you peace and love from the cornfields, and we are... Out. out.